welcome to Donna and Friends. And I think this is a record for me so far of how many people I've had in this segment. And I'm so excited. This is part of our cast from Music Man Jr. that's going to be playing right here in downtown Cushing on Fabulous Broadway. Fabulous Absolutely. Broadway. So welcome everyone to the show. Thank you. It's so good to have you. I'm excited to have this many people. Now, Kristen, I'm going to start with you because we, you know, initially made contact. Yes. And let me have you give me just a little bit of detail about Music Man Jr. As far as when it's going to be and all that yeah. stuff, it's going to be August 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. It's at the Cushion Community Theater, just right across the street from the studio here. Um, Friday and Saturday shows are going to be at 7 o'clock, and the Sunday show is a matinee at 2. Okay. We want everyone to come. And you know, it's been a while since we had any kind of production in the community theater, and that's exciting just on its own yes. to have the theater get back into the groove of things. Yes. And there's nothing better than a children's musical. I think that's one of the best things that as a theater person that likes to go and see musicals, you can't beat a children's musical. I agree. Absolutely. Agree. Now, next, Andrea uh -huh. Wetmore, tell me what you're doing in this work. Well, Kristen and I are working together, although I will say she is doing the majority of the <laughs> oh, work. I don't know. <laughs> um, so we work really well together. We're in the process of getting costumes together, and just getting the kids to get the numbers down. The kids are doing fabulous jobs. So are you co-directing this we production? Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. So the two of you are co-producting. That's that's good in a way because you can kind of lean on another person Definitely. instead of do, trying to do it's it solo. It's nice to bounce ideas off of one another, yes. All right. So Andrea, where are you from? Originally, I grew up in Southeast Kansas. Okay. And we had a local children's theater every summer. And so that's when we moved here, and I saw we had such a great theater, I was surprised we didn't have anything. Right. So Kristen and I got to talking, and we've been talking about this for probably about two years now. So it's nice to see it come together. Well, let's move on to Brian. Hello. Now, Brian, you're playing the character of Harold Hill. Mm -hmm. Tell me what else you're doing in production. Are you helping the ladies with other things on the side a little bit, or...? Are you sticking mainly to the acting part of this? I'm sticking mainly to the acting part because I'm no use anywhere else. <laughs> oh, you're <laughs> so, a great set mover, Brian. <laughs> there are actors and then there are the behind the scenes people in productions. So you're telling me you're only on the stage. Yes. <laughs> you know, really, and I have to say, in these type of live productions, there is a lot of behind the scenes work and it's, it can get grueling. It can, and we, yes. we, are, we don't have enough behind-the-scenes people yet. That was something we were talking about today. We've got to gather some people in to kind of be yes. back there. We've got 35 kids that 35. have to be backstage wow. quiet. Oh. <laughs> so, we, you know, that in itself is... Now, that's a challenge. That's just, a challenge. Just keep huh? the 35 kids quiet. Yes. Do all the kids come on the set at one time or another together? Oh, yes. yes. So, wow, for everyone that's out there watching right now, envision this. At points during this musical, The Music Man Jr., you'll see the performance of 35 kids at one time at certain points. That makes me just ready to go. It's, it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. Yeah. And they're, and they're a fun group, and they work, they've worked really hard, and they're doing a great job. Tell me, Kristen, what, what is the, the premise difference between The Music Man and The Music Man Jr., besides the obvious fact that it's, it's changed into... A children's musical. Right. It's mostly edited for length. Honestly, okay. they've made it simpler. So there are fewer sets and there are fewer numbers. Some of the numbers have been cut from the original. If you've seen the movie, you'll notice some, some songs missing. Okay. Um, but the basic plot is the same. It's just okay. really edited for length. Because, you know, to do the full length show with kids, uh, they wouldn't make it through. Yeah. <laughs> Neither would we. Because <laughs> it, that's, it's quite an undertaking. Yes. The Music Man is a, a musical. It's quite an undertaking. Uh, I have to ask, will we hear the song Wells Fargo? We will. Definitely. Oh, we will. It's like one of my favorites in the musical. I, 
I get and, giddy. Well, and Wells Fargo and Associates is one of our big sponsors too. So I was going to say. With Enbridge, they're our two major sponsors. So that's kind okay. of okay. It's like automatic product placement for them. Well, exactly. They you didn't even have to think, of, or they didn't have to think exactly. Wells Fargo where they would go at. You know, recently the the wagon made an appearance at the rodeo. I heard and, about that. I didn't get to see it. Oh, you I didn't. Oh no, because that was. Exciting just to see the Wells Fargo wagon. Well, let's talk about and introduce our young guests that we've got here who are indeed some of the stars of this musical. We'll start right here, and if you'll just say your name and what mm -hmm, your name and then what role you're playing, what, what character. I am Tennessee Walkmore, and I am playing the boy in newspaper one. Okay. My name is Andrew Carson Wesley Collier, and I am playing Withprop Peru. My name is Addison Ray Beasley, and I'm playing Newspaper 2. My name is Cecilia Wetmore, and I am playing Gracie Shin and Salesman 1. My name is Rebecca, and I am playing Salesman 3. Salesman 3. <laughs> and then, Brian, you're playing Harold Hill, mm -hmm. correct? As Okay. Now, you say you have 35 children that are involved in the musical. How many adults are actually on stage taking on a role as well? None. Zero. Zero. All kids. Mm -hmm. All. Okay, really making this a must-see. <laughs> really, really making this a must-see at this point because I can't imagine. So it's, it's really the premise of little people taking on the role of the music man, Junior. Yep. Fabulous. Now, what is the cost to get into the musical? $10 for adults, $5 for students up to grade 12, and two and under are free. Okay. And so it will start Thursday? Friday. Or Friday. August 1st okay. at 7, and Saturday, August 2nd at 7, and then Sunday, August 3rd at 2. Okay. And you can get tickets um, at CBEW. Okay. It's a good place to stop in and get tickets. Okay. Um, or you can contact any member of the cast and they'll be able to get you in touch with someone. Now, I know in the past at the theater, they've had a phone down there and you could call and leave a name and message. Is that still an, a choice? The, there is a phone there, but I don't, I don't know that it is monitored. Okay. So, um, you can call me. I can give my phone number. Okay. You can post it maybe on your side. That would be great because we could we could just put it right here in this segment. And, Excellent. And that way people will be looking right at it. Sure. So that's go right. ahead and give the number out and okay. then we'll, we'll and put you it can out. also look at the bottom of your screen, everyone, right now. So. That's good. It's 918-399-6211. All right. Because I know people are going to want to get tickets to this. I want them to get tickets. I cannot imagine anything less than that. Kristen and also um, Andrea, what has been most challenging? I'll let you start, Andrea, with this production. I would say the number one most challenging thing is getting everyone at rehearsal at the same time. Mm -hmm. Because our children are so involved these days, it's great. They have so many extracurricular activities that we haven't had a full set at a practice yet. Well, and you're dealing with vacations that are happening, maybe even Bible schools or um, little sports practices that are going on. So I'm sure it, it is quite a mission. Yes. It is quite it a mission. Is. What do you what do you find the most fun about this particular musical as far as the kids? What's been the most fun thing thus far? Well they're such a great group of kids and they really are working hard. And I think it's really fun to watch them go from stumbling over their feet, trying to get the dance steps, not really knowing the words, to just nailing a song, and to watch how good they feel about themselves afterwards. How many hours do you estimate that you will have put into this production by the time it oh. <laughs> comes to, to uh, viewing? Um, probably too many to count. It would probably make us feel really bad. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know. I mean, I mean, we're That's a big question, isn't right. it? Yes. Right now. Okay. And that doesn't include all the, you know, when they go home, we still have work to yes. do. So I heard you mention earlier that you're working on costumes. Uh huh. And I know that's got to be somewhat of a challenge. 
are you getting outside help? Uh, is it a donation or someone like, hey, I need this or that, who's got it? Yes. How's that been working? A little of that, and our theater has a fairly good costume collection. It's crazy. Have you ever been up there? You know, I haven't, but that's something that I think a lot of people may not realize. They probably don't. It's enormous. It's an yes. enormous room. It's very well organized, and it pretty much, if you need it, there's at least one of them up there. It, it's really And probably cool. uh, the things that exist up there take a little modification, perhaps. A lot, yeah, we haven't had a lot. So how fortunate. You know, I don't think that our community realizes, first of all, how lucky we are to have a community theater where these kind of productions can be put yes. on and things throughout the year. And it's, it's kind of been seeing a rough time. Um, I don't know if some of that is... I know time is always a factor with people, but it's kind of seen a rough time, and yes. so it's great to hear you talk about that and and that you really have what you need for the. It's most a great part. resource. Yes. It's a great asset to our community, and we're we're glad to be part of it and be there doing a show. Well, I'll tell you what. We're almost done with the segment. So, is there a line that the kids can say all together that they do in the musical? Is there uh, something they gosh. say all together that we can? Kind of cue them to say, or maybe we could just say, have them say, you're watching Donna and Friends. Let's do that. Oh, that'd be great. You're watching Donna and Friends. Okay, ready? What are we saying? You're watching Donna and Friends. Okay. Really loud, ready? One, two, three. You're watching Donna and Friends. Now, we, we could just certainly see how well they take direction right there. there that, was, that was right <laughs> off the cuff. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Music Man Jr., you don't want to miss it. Go and check these kids out. 35 of them on stage. There's more where these came from, right. right? All right. Oh, yeah. Thank you guys for thank so coming you. in. <laughs>